In this video, we're going to be going over what I am currently mining with my two gigabyte graphics cards. So I've been mining for a decent amount of time now, since about 2017. And back then, I started off with some RX 560s and RX 570s. What I was doing back then was mainly uh, Ethereum with some 4 gig uh, 570s. I also had some 460s, or some 560s rather, mining uh, some various coins, uh, some Ethereum till the DAG sets got hit, then switched those to Ethereum Classic. Uh, and then uh, about a year, year and a half ago, Vertcoin uh, forked to Vert Hash, which made that mineable on 2 gig graphics cards. And Ubik has been on 2 gig graphics cards for a while now as well. And what I did uh, about two years ago is I jumped on eBay and I bought eight MSI Aero RX 560 2 gig cards with the expectation that I wanted to build a dedicated uh, 2 gig miner, 3 gig miner, 4 gig miner, 6 gig miner, and 8 gig miner. And so what I have is, oops, if we jump into Hive OS, I've got, here you can see, this is my 2 gig rig, so there's 8 RX 560s, they're all 2 gig cards, they're all MSI arrows. Six of them have Samsung memory, two of them have Hynix memory. Uh, and you can see right now I am mining Ubik. Uh, if we jump over to what to mine, these are all of the values that I have plugged in. And uh, if you follow the channel, I've created a profit switching app. You can get that off of GitHub, load that up onto a Hive OS rig, and it will profit switch for you. Uh, so if we jump over to that profit switching config, which is right here, what we can see is that our options really right now on a 2 gig card are Vertcoin, Ubik, Neoxa, Cinovate, uh, Masari, Bitcoin Gold, you can also do Bitcoin Z, uh, any of the Z hash, uh, Haven, Aeon, and Ryo. So if we jump back over to what to mine, these are kind of the hash rates I'm looking at from a total rig perspective. So I've got, um, and I'm using 4G, some of these are going to pop up that won't be applicable, but my profit switching takes care of those. So we've got uh, 122 mega hash on Ubik or any ETH hash coin where the DAG file is less than 2 gigs. So if we jump over to miner stat, we can see We've got Ubik, we've got Dubai Coin, and we got uh, ERE. Uh, there are some other ones, I believe, as well that aren't on this chart, uh, but Ubik's probably the biggest one. Ubik's been around for a really long time. And then if we jump back over here, uh, so Zhash, which would be like Bitcoin Gold. Bitcoin Z, we get 96 hashes at 358 watts. And what you're going to see, this is complete rig power. Uh, these are all running off of a RebTech in an open air case. So just looking at the numbers, you're going to see it's a very low power consumption rig. And again, RX 560 2 gig models. Uh, so we've got Kryptonite Heavy, uh, which this is going to be the Haven protocol. There's some other ones in there. Uh, Kryptonite GPU, which is Ryo, as well as some other ones. Uh, Kryptonite Fast is Masari's. And then we've got Aeon, which is an Equihash variant. We also have Kapow, and that's because the Neoxa DAG is still less than 2 gigs. As of the recording of this video, it's 1.1 gigs. So uh, we can mine Neoxa. And this is actually pretty profitable on Neoxa based on current price. And it's 50 mega hash at 640 watts. And then uh, X25X, this is Cinebate. So this uh, cycles through 25 algorithms. And we can get 2.68 mega hash at only 191 watts. And then uh, Vert Hash, this is primarily the coin I mine with this. And we get 2.6 mega hash at 405 watts. This is really efficient uh, for Burt coin. All right, so if we come down to profitability, 
And again, this is at the time of this video. We can see the top revenue coin is actually in the OXA at 228 a coin, but because of the power uh, draw on Kapow, the profit is only 75 cents. And again, this is for the entire rig, not per card. Uh, but if we look here at Ubik, uh, revenue is 224, but our profit is $1.09. Um, and then uh, Vertcoin is really close to that. So it's 202 with a profit of $1.05. And then we're going to get into some ETHash coins. We can't mine these because the DAG files are too high. Uh, if we had a 4 gig card, we could mine these. But with the 2 gig variant, we cannot. Uh, you can see Bitcoin Gold is still up here. Uh, it's still a 39 cent profit. Uh, Bitcoin Z is around the same. Uh, slightly down 33 cent profit. Aeon's at 38 cent profit. Uh, you can mine on NiceHash or ZHash for a 25 cent profit. Uh, Ryo is still profitable at 3 cents. Uh, Gemlink is another ZHash. And that's where you're kind of close to a uh, being unprofitable. You're still profitable at 2 cents a day. Uh, but then you can kind of see the rest of these are unprofitable at the moment. So Masari is unprofitable. Sinovate's unprofitable. Haven is unprofitable. Um, Equilibria is on the same algo as Ryo, as well as Conceal. Uh, and those, based on price discovery, these can jump to being profitable. But these are essentially the coins that I'm mining. Uh, I'm mainly switching between these top three. So Neoxa a little bit. Um, I'm so unsure about Neoxa. There's really no use for that coin. Uh, they're essentially giving it to you during games and during mining. But as of now, the way that one's working, there's kind of no use for it. Um, and so I, I really don't see price discovery doing too much on this one. Uh, but Ubik and Vertcoin, I have been mining for years. And so I like to uh, switch between these two. Ubik, you can mine on Zergpool and do um, auto exchange for pretty much any coin that Zergpool supports. So if you want to get Dash, if you want to get Bitcoin, if you want to get Ethereum, uh, if you want to get Flux, whatever you want to get, you can do that um, with your two get cards auto exchanging. Um, or you can also do Vertcoin through there. Uh, I prefer to do Vertcoin through Mining Pool Hub and using Mining Pool Hub to auto exchange. Uh, but those are a couple options. And as always, I always suggest holding a bunch as well. Uh, but that's it for this video. Just wanted to walk you guys through currently um, what, what I mine on these. Oh, and while I'm in here, uh, if we jump over to overclocking, these are kind of the templates I use for overclocking. Uh, so, again, these are for the 2 gig cards. Uh, if you're running 4 gig cards, your overclocking is going to be a little bit different on these. The memory on these cards can clock a little bit higher on the 2 gig cards. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you're running any Polaris cards, you can set the, um, the RX boost. So, reference of 20 for Samsung. Reference a 30 for Hynex. And you can kind of see what I'm doing on these ones. So for any ETH hash, right now my only ETH hash is Ubic hash. So I'm running 1100 core, 2065 on the mem, and then I am undervolting it. So 825 uh, on the voltage with a DPM of 4 and a memory DPM of 1. And then. Um, this fan right now I have it set, but those fans can really be turned down to auto. If you look on Burt Hash, Burt Hash has very similar numbers. Uh, I turn those fans down to and just let them auto adjust because they rarely run. It runs so cool. Uh, in fact, if we jump over, you can see right now all the cards are running around 60 degrees. Uh, that one's actually running at 56, and that one's at 58. Uh, and then for Kapow, I do 1100 and 1750. Seems like pretty good. We end up getting uh, like six and a half uh, mega hash per card. 
but pretty good to get 50 at the rig. Uh, but that's it for the video. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you're using a 2 gig card, what you're using. Uh, the best ones I know of right now are the RX 560 2 gigs, which is what I'm using, and also the NVIDIA 750 Ti's were really popular back in the day. Uh, I know uh, we used to mine Litecoin on those uh, back before it was ASIC. Uh, so there was Litecoin, there was Feathercoin, there was a bunch of coins that were real popular on that, but those are also low power consumption. So if you're mining two gig cards, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you're mining.